This morning in the early sun, steam rising from the pond the color of smoky topaz, a pair of delicate copper-red needle-fine insects are mating in the unopened crown of a Shasta daisy just outside your door. The green flower heads look like wombs, or the upright supplicant bulbs of a vegetal pre-erection. The insect lovers seem to be transferring the cosmos into each other by attaching at the tail, holding utterly still and quivering intently. I think, on what evidence, that they are different from us, that they mate and are done with mating. They don't carry all this half-mated longing up out of childhood and then go looking for it everywhere. And so I think they can't wound each other the way we do. They don't go through life dizzy or groggy with their hunger, kill with it, smear it on everything. Though it is perhaps also true that nothing happens to them quite like what happens to us. When the blue bat swallow dips swiftly towards the green pond, and the pond's green and blue reflected swallow marries it a moment in the reflected sky, and the heart goes out to the end of the rope it has been throwing into abyss after abyss, and a singing shimmers from every color the morning has risen into. My insect instructors have stilled. They are probably stuck together in some bliss and minute pulse of after-longing evolution worked out to suck the last juice of the world into the receiver's body. They can't separate, probably, until it is done. <laughs>